too. So this lesson is going to be focusing using white pencil and doing sketches where you're learning about the highlights and the form of whatever objects it is you choose to draw. Uh, as you can see on the paper, I'm using a dark colored paper. Black is preferable, but I could only find blue and this one sheet of black. So my first trial run I did on blue paper. For this one, I wanted to pick something really simple and easy that I'm comfortable with. So I just used my phone to find a picture of um, fruit and apple and pear to draw from. Now notice in the picture, you can see that there are some areas that are a lot brighter and more solid white. And then there are some areas where it's kind of a, a medium value of white. So there you can see I used less pencil in the medium values and a lot more white pencil in the brighter spots, okay? I'm gonna do a demonstration now. This time I'm gonna use something, an object that I can find at my house because I want y'all to try to draw from real life. So I've got my coffee cup here and I took a picture of it. The first time I took a picture, I tried to put it onto the wood table with a solid background and then I went to go edit it and put it in black and white. And I noticed that the tabletop was very, dis you know, there was a lot of texture and I don't want that to be anything that prevents you from feeling comfortable with the drawing. So I redid the photograph and this time I put it on a solid background so that now when I go to edit it and I put it into a black and white filter, you can see it's a little bit less visual information to worry about. All right, so this is the one that we're going to work with for the drawing. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna work on black paper. If you don't have black paper, you can use anything dark. I even found this um, cereal box, actually this is like a Cheez-It box, but I, you can draw on the other side of it. So even something like this would work fine. See, I can actually draw white onto my cereal box like this. Okay, and it would work just as well. But for this lesson, I'm going to do it on black paper. You're going to turn in two sketches of things that either at your house or pictures that you find on the internet that you want to draw. And from those two sketches, I want you to focus on two things, the highlights and the form. That's it. So that's all I want you to worry about is highlights and form. Form is that three-dimensional shape and it's a little bit trickier than what you think because now that we're using just white pencil, you have to make sure that your pencil is moving in the direction of the object's shape. So see how I'm changing the pencil here to go down to give it that form? There's a bright spot right there, so I'm gonna fill that in really solid. Oops. Okay. All right, so do a little light sketch of the whole object that you're gonna be drawing. Don't bear down hard. Remember, go really light. This is your gesture sketch. Okay, then come back and really focus on making the areas that are bright white, fill those in and do it in the direction that the object has its shape. That gives it the form or the three-dimensional shape. So these like need to go in this way. I see a lot of highlight on that rim of the coffee mug. Okay, there's some that go like this. Now, I'm not going straight side to side. I'm doing it in a rounded direction to make sure that the coffee mug looks rounded. There's a lot more light on the right side of the mug, so there should be a lot more pencil line on the right side of the mug. This side's a lot darker, so I'm hardly gonna do anything over there. I'm gonna skip around a little bit here and there. There's a lot of lightness here because I wanna be able to get 
to the shadow. The reason that we are doing this assignment is because I want you to learn about light, form, value, and also I want to prepare you for the scratch drawing assignment, which is going to be on black paper with a scratch tool. All right, now let's talk about shadow. Here you can see that it's light and then there's darkness, so I need to draw my shadow, my highlight, in that direction. Now keep in mind that there's more light here. So instead of coloring the coffee cup, I'm actually using my white pencil to color in the lightness. Okay, leaving the coffee cup in the darkness. By coloring all of this in, it will make the shadow pop out because it'll be dark. So I'm basically coloring the negative space right now, not the shadow, I'm coloring the opposite. You can do the same thing with the wall in the background. Remember when you're doing a table or water, anything like that, you need to really go side to side because that keeps it looking flat. All right, there's a line in the background. I need to draw that line. Okay, now all of this will be very light up top. I'm doing my wall straight up and down. And then very light around the top of the, the coffee pot, the coffee uh, mug. But I'm staying away just a little bit. You can see this shape is starting to come out. All right, so I'll keep working on this and I'll upload my final picture, but you get the basic idea. And um, keep in mind that I want you to do two sketches so that you can be practicing different, um, you know, different shapes and different forms. Each time you do it, you're going to get better, I promise. Keep in mind that when you're doing a drawing like this, there's a lot of problem solving involved. So you have to stop and take a back take a look back you know at your image compare it with your drawing and see what it is you're missing some spots may not look quite right you know what is it that is not working what is it that is working figure out where you've left off highlights and go back and add more in that area where does the form not look quite right and then go back and fix that spot so you just have to keep you know evaluating it and use problem solving skills along the way it's almost like putting together a puzzle. You know, what's the next piece of the puzzle to make it look right? So is this a good, good enough here? Do I need to add more? Um, so yeah, a lot of problem solving skills and kind of like putting a puzzle together. So as you can see, I've worked on it a little bit more. I added more white just around the edges in the background, um, keeping in mind some spots that had shadow and other spots that had less shadow. I could even brighten this area down here more if I wanted to. So, I hope that helps.